Today, we celebrate our financial independence day. It all begins now, the 10K main event. You can play like shit for all year. If you run good in this event, all is forgiven, all is forgotten. We're gonna final table this tournament and retire from poker. You heard it here first. We're on high alert. The end is near. It's nice knowing you poker. It's time to live on a beach with a bunch of Colombians, maybe Puerto Ricans. One-tenth cost of living. See you on the other side. This is our 11th year playing the World Series of Poker, $10,000 main event. Some years I have 100% of myself. Some years I have 30% of myself. This year I have about 50% of myself with a few 1% swaps. So we're looking to make a run and change our lives for the better. What are you <laughs> Mr. Moneybags himself, King of DrDabber.com, Jamie Rosen. What's up, guys? With the dollar dollar bills. 58,000 on first break. Table is soft. We're going to put a lot of pressure on them and run it up. Over 10 in main events. Can't never cash ever. This is the year. Lock up a min cash, maybe more. Fifty-eight thousand going to one fifty-three hundred with an ante. Time to turn up the aggression. First notable hand is at the 150, 300 blind level, we have 58,000 chips. Under the gun plus two makes it 700. Under the gun plus three calls, and I have jack 10 off on the button. You could lean towards a call or a tight fold. But you know, I like to take the lead and put in the three bet. 2,800, both of my opponents seem pretty fitter fold. So we're going to attack in play position, try to take it down pre, or wrap a big hand post-flop. The original Razor folds, and the second caller, who happens to be an older Asian woman who says it's her birthday, calls. The flop comes ace, king, king with two spades. She leads out 4,000 chips. What does she think I am? Does she know what I'm repping? I call. We have all the aces, the kings, the ace king, king queen, all the premiums that she really doesn't have. So we give her the float. The turn brings the nine of spades. She bets 13,000. We don't have a spade, we just got a gutter. Should we shove all in? Float again? No. I think she has it. Probably a baby flush. So we lay it down. I tell her to show the bluff. She shows Queen Jack of Spades. We now have 50,000 chips.
Blinds are still 150, 300. Under the gun plus two makes it 600. The cutoff calls and I'm on the button with ace, king, offsuit. Of course, we're gonna three bet this to 2,500. Original razor calls and the flatter folds. The flop comes 10, six, deuce, one diamond. He checks, I bet 2,000, he calls. The turn is the queen of diamonds and he decides to lead. 4K. Out of flow, ain't gonna fly around here. We make it 11,000, repping aces, kings, queens, hope, hoping that it'll fold something like Jack Jack, 9 9, 8 8 7 7 type of hand. But he calls. The river is an 8. We can't beat much. If he didn't fold the turn, he's probably not going to fold a river bomb. We give up and check it back. He shows pocket sixes for a set. Good river check. Marginal turn bluff raise. We're under the gun plus two with pocket eights, so we make it 700 to go. The button calls, who is the villain from the previous 6-6 six, six hand, and the big blind calls. The flop comes ace, six, five. I see bet 900. The button, who slow played the set on the flop previously, raises me to 2,900. The big blind folds. So what are we putting him on? If we don't think he's going to fast play sets, would he fast play a hand like ace-5, ace-6? Or has he just got a hand that missed and he's trying to take it down in position, not putting me on the ace? We put in the call for 2,000 more. The turn brings us an offsuit seven, giving a second pair with an open-ended straight draw. We check, he bets 4,800. I still don't believe the story he's telling, so we put in the call. The river is an eight, giving us a set, but making four to a straight on the board. A lot of his semi bluffs now get there, but how many nine X's does he have? Tough to really put him on a hand, but we now beat all of his sets if he happened to have one. So let's see what he does. We check, he bets 9,500. I think our hand's a little bit too strong to fold, but not quite strong enough to raise because we're going to have a lot more 9x's in our range. And we don't think he's going to call a check jam anyway. Without a straight. And with a, and his sets probably wouldn't call either. So I call. He says, I missed. And mucks. Missed? What did you miss? You were bluffing. I got you. The plan was to call the river even if I didn't hit my set or straight based upon his flop raise. Didn't make sense. Reed was correct for once. We have 55,000 on dinner. Sixty-five thousand going to five hundred big blind. Two hours remain in the night. Coming in. These are your new seat assignments for Tuesday. Sorry, that's yours, sir. Tuesday. That's near neighbors, and that's yours. Tuesday, 11 o'clock, guys. Name, hometown, chip count on the slip. Name, new seat sign on the back. Tuesday, 11 o'clock. As we are bagging up, this guy stands in the middle of the room 
and slams two symbols together loud as hell. Yes, those type of symbols. Everyone looks at him like he's some sort of weirdo. Yeah. Do I have a bag actually? The yellow bag? 64,900 chips from 50k starting to end the day. We bagged, we tagged. Day 2, 11 a.m. on Tuesday. We fought hard. Tried not to spew. Didn't spew. Made a big call down. Pretty uneventful. Never got aces or kings or queens, jacks once. Ace king. Wasn't really profitable. But that's okay. We're going to come back strong on Tuesday.